there, this is Chad Garber. And in this video, I'm going to do a follow-up of a, a video I did about the Katana, the Boss Katana 100, where I was saying that there's a lot of feedback, that a lot of, there's a lot of noise after you stop playing. But thanks to Mitch Hammond and Anthony Newcomb and, and I think a couple others, I'm able to, I figured out that there is a built-in, a built-in noise uh, gate that actually I think it's called a noise suppressant that actually works. I'm, I'm going to just kind of do a demo real quick. Very impressed. I don't know why they didn't have this on by default, personally, but hey, at least it's in there. Because here's, here's without the noise suppressor. And the only way you can access it, by the way, is by using the, you know, the computer and using the Ball Studio. But you, that's, that's without the noise suppressor. Did I turn the sound off? There's a button. There's a. It's, it's on the um, interface. It's called. It's in the middle. There's a bunch of tabs that say effects, channel, booster, mod. So there was one that says NS, which I believe means noise suppression. And then there's a, a button that turns it on. And there's a thresh button. And I got this about to about to 50. So I got the thresh to about 50. So this is off. So I turned it on, but here's off. Wait. I'm trying to tap the screen. It's not a laptop with a screen. Tap. Look at that. Now also what the boss, the, at least the manual, the manual says is that you don't lose any of the sound because it's an intelligent noise suppressant. So it doesn't get rid of all your sound. So let's see. Okay, here's, here's with the noise. So you have to do a per channel, but let me see. I'm going to go to my favorite, my uh, phaser sound. Uh, that's without the thrash. That's without the noise suppressing. Hit. about 50. Here's it off. It's gone. So you just gotta save them the same way you save the regular settings from the app. Okay, holding it down, holding the preset down. Boom. Next one. Go there. Turn it back on. Put the threshold to 50-ish. Save the fourth preset bank. Panel's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. We'll put on one too, just in case we want to change one someday. One's a clean sound. All right, and so save that one. And then what if we go to just a regular panel? It's on too. Whoa! So now it's on. So now we can switch. So we can go, hey, clean. They start ahead. So 
thank you. Thank you, Mitch Hammond, and thank you, Anthony Newcomb, and anybody else who mentioned this, because this is the answer. You just turn it on. You just turn the noise suppression on, put it to 50, move on with your life. And then uh, now my YouTube video guitar lessons are not going to be, you're not going to hear a The only thing, again, the only, the only, my only comment is why, oh, why don't you just put this on by default? This, that should be a setting that's just set. You know, because if there's no difference in, in sound. So anyway, so there you go. Hopefully this was a helpful video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be doing more reviews like this and more demos. And so if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be very cool. Thank you.